Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Danny. I'm a product specialist here at Garmin Printer Inc. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking out our channel. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite uh, printers that we have here, the iColor 250. The reason why it's one of my favorite printers is because not only is it gonna print your labels and stickers, it's also gonna die cut them. And not only can it you know, do stickers and labels, but it's also gonna be able to do magnets. All right, so today we're gonna to be ma mainly focusing on the premium gloss paper for our labels and stickers. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get into here is the iColor Custom Cut software. All right, so that's the software I have opened up right here. It's gonna come with the iColor 250 on a little dongle. It's a USB dongle. All right, so that's how you're gonna install it and get that situated. Uh, it's also important to know that that dongle is also gonna be considered a key. So you'll need to have that dongle inserted every time you use the software. Uh, while we're talking about this, it's probably important for me to mention this is not a Mac-based software. It has to be a Windows-based PC. All right, and while we're talking about this, we should probably talk about some of the file types that this is gonna support. All right, so uh, of course, PNGs, which are great you know, for transparency, uh, as well as uh, AI files, EPS files, SVG files, you know, your vector format files, um, as well as JPEGs and TIFFs. You know, so all of those will work out. All right, if you have any questions about any of that stuff, just contact us support at garmentprintering.com. We'll be there to help you out, okay? Uh, so moving forward over here, uh, we have our iColor custom cut software. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go to file, import, and I'm gonna select my file. We're gonna use our Inky logo here today, okay? So I'm gonna open. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, this is a little small. I wanted to kind of make this a little bit larger. So I'm just gonna, while it's selected, you'll see some anchor points around your image. Uh, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the bottom right corner one and I'm gonna hold the shift key. So you hold shift first and then click and drag. And that's gonna give me a proportionate uh, scaling, okay? So here we go. Now I have that positioned in here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace around our image where we're gonna be cutting, okay? So I'm gonna go up to where it says trace. You'll see some different settings in here. Again, if you wanna kinda of get into the nitty gritty, you can always message us at support at garmentprintering.com if you're so call. Um, but either way, you know, this is gonna be your contrast here, you know? Uh, so that's gonna kind of affect some of the anchor points and how simplified or complex that cut is gonna be. Of course, we're working with a relatively simple, um, you know, uh, simple shape here, you know, so we have some leeway. We're just going to kind of keep this where it is. Uh, right now, we're just going to, uh, we're going to click OK. All right, so now we're fully traced. And now that I have this fully traced, I'm actually going to uh, group this together, you know, so I'm going to click and drag here. I'm going to go to object and I'm going to go to group. All right, so now that everything is grouped together, we can now uh, copy that and duplicate, you know, what we just created. Okay, so I'm just gonna right click, copy, right click again, paste, simple as that. Move that for, for, uh, to wherever we want it to be. Always good to have some space in between, you know, uh, you know, each of your images. All right, I'm actually gonna fit a third one in here as well. Now that we have those all situated in here, nice and clean, uh, it's simple. I'm just gonna go to file. Print, and there's, a, there's an option here that's gonna say print and cut. That's the main thing that we're gonna wanna make sure we're, we're taking into account here. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that it says print and cut down here. All right, it's printing all, and I have my name selected here, iColor 250 label cutter. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. And we just give this a second here, it's gonna start printing out now. All right, so you could even, it's transparent, so you can actually look inside here and you'll see the machine you know, printing your image as well as die cutting at the same time. Again, steer, steering you clear from having to get an additional cutting machine. You know? So that's always, always a nice thing to know. Let's give this a second here. printing is completed now we're working on the die cutting so right after this it's gonna, it's gonna be spitting out our completed piece
and here we go. All right, awesome. Thank you guys so much for checking out our video here. If you have any questions about the iColor 250 or you wanna move forward with the purchase, just check the description below. Uh, that, that will have all of our contact information as well as our website. Uh, somebody over here will be able to help you out and answer any questions you might have and, and move forward, all right? Uh, most importantly, you can always check out our website for any other printing resources. We have so much content here on our YouTube channel, uh, social media. Give us a call, get us on the phone. You know, we're always here to help you out and we hope to hear from you soon. All right, thank you so much.